In this video, we will be continuing to identify the two consecutive whole numbers which a square root lies. I already prepped and prepared the square roots that uh, we are familiar with that we always usually work with so we could easily reference. In order to identify which two consecutive perfect squares a square root lies between, we have to first be familiar with perfect squares and square roots. I will identify where the square root of 64 falls, okay? And if you see, I have the square root of 16 and a square root of 25. So if I was to place the square root of 24 on the number line, it will fall between four and five. Do you think it would be closer to four on the number line or five on the number line? It would be closer to five because it's actually one unit away from the square root of 25. Square root of 56. Between which two consecutive whole numbers would this square root lie? The square root of 56 will fall between it actually lies between the square root of 49 and the square root of 64. So if I was to place this on the number line, it will fall in between the whole numbers of seven and eight. What about the square root of 10? It will fall between the whole numbers of three and four. Square root of 50. The square root of 50 is very close to the square root of 49. So I know it's more than seven, but it definitely has to be less than eight. So it will fall between seven and eight on the number line. Square root of two, one and two. What about the square root of 38? Square root of 38 is actually between the square root of 36 and 49. So if I was to order this with some other numbers or place it on a number line, it will fall between 6 and 7. Do you think it would be closer to the whole number 6 or closer to the whole number 7? It would be closer to the whole number 6. Between which two whole numbers? would the square root of 90 lie between? It will fall between nine and 10. Almost finished. What about the square root of 103? The square root of 103 will fall between which two whole numbers? 10 and 11. And the last one, it's more than, a than the square root of four, 144, but it's less than the square root of 169. So the square root of 150 would um, fall between the whole numbers of 12 and 13 on the number line. In this video, we identified the two consecutive whole numbers which a square root lies.